very, very hard. It'll be Otto Porter Jr., a newcomer. Laurie Markinen, second-year player. Robin Lopez, the left board. But he's a he's a nice young player for the Chicago Bulls. Almost stolen by Beverly. Never act. Like the settling for jumpers here early, Ralph. You look at the Bulls lineup, there's that paint's available. Markin drives, scores, and gets fouled. By this game starting off, Ralph, like a 12 30 Sunday game, didn't it? <laughs> Won't go, rebound ripped away by Gilgis Alexander. Ahead to Gallinari. That's like a layup for him a little bit lately, which has never been his forte. Working on the three ball a lot before the game, too. Left him talking to his brother. Had from behind the line, and maybe he's thinking he should try and do it. I mean, Brooke didn't shoot it at all oh. until three years ago. Opening a road trip. Sacramento and Phoenix yet to come. Ball is knocked away. It's loose. Picked up by Lopez. Pretty nice. I'm making a miss for the rookie. Clippers lead by one. Speaking of those games, Ralph, those East next three need to be in the seating. You can get to six or seven and avoid made for him. And then thought, wait a minute. Flying to the goal and tipped in. Wasn't working in Chicago. I think Bobby Portis is a nice piece. But if you believe Porter's your guy, then to the other, that'll get you some floor spacing for sure. Mark, it. Markin and Ralph can really shoot. I don't Beverly. I don't five or six. Wow. There's Lopez on the paint a long time. You get it into Lopez, that maybe collapses some of the defense. Then you kick it out to shooters like Porter and Markinen. Pushed by Beverly. Shamit. Zilba. Players on national TV shows on their off day on Wednesday. The nation is buzzing about the Clippers right now. Well, there's no question about that. And it was. I don't think anybody <laughs> is interestingly dressed as Montrez. Gallo Bingo! Certainly can do that. Clippers by four. Three ball. Bingo. You know what I think of Ralph when I watch Zach Levine play? You know they talk about fast twitch muscles. He just seems like it. And this start in the court is Buffalo. This is Patrick Wizard. The good player won't go, but the follow will. Chicago's made their last five shots. Three ball, bingo. Make it 34 seconds. Oh, I'll tell you, he understands that two for one stuff. I wonder if he'll recognize that and see that he's maybe the part of the Pretty, pretty little spin roll. Harrell out the temple. Little floater in the paint, very nicely done. And his name wouldn't even come up in a scouting report, I don't think. Early, early last year, Ralph, remember he didn't even play long enough to try and steal it at the end. But I still believe if the Clippers put their foot on him, card games, and they survived on their own for for months until the dad found out that they were living by themselves. None. Got to the hole, banked it in. Well, just to finish. And they're yep. monsters. Yeah, that's right. Go <laughs> figure. Just look at the McLean boys. <laughs> <laughs> in their own way. So slowly but surely, Doc Spencer starters back in, but leaving Harold by as many as seven. Lead now by three. Levine. And he, he just is born to score. Turn. There's a steal. Long arms, uh, SGA right there, poked out away. A man who knows how to finish. And then you up your three-point field goal percentage. That's impressive. Lead pass for an easy dunk. It's the last time out, Ralph. The Clippers bench was up 24 to three, which is. Jay Gilgis Alexander. Lou Williams is back to the finish. The rookie. That way, got him the room he needed to knock that down. Long three ball, bingo. Shot clock continues to wind down. It's at eight. 34 seconds to go. Lou Williams. 
going right that time. It doesn't happen either, Ralph. That would help the Clippers is get get this crowd into it. Gallo for two. Put in to Beverly. Good look for Shamit. Bingo. Well, that's that's probably going to go in most of the time. Hard to the basket. Challenged by Zubac. The, the rebound comes off the. Bill just Alexander working. Down the lane, Zubac. He'll score and get fouled to watch the pregame warmups. It's a great idea, Ralph, to have Irish Heritage Night on St. Patrick's Day. It's not a laugh. <laughs> Beverly floats it, scores it. Keep pushing it out. Take some of the Bulls will. Porter. Let it fly. Beverly goes after it. Ahead to go just Alexander. Run right into the hole and scoring. Beverly to Gallo. Over Markinen. Two point automatic bid to the NIT. But nobody wants to play in the NIT if you can play in the NCAA tournament. Oh, Levine. So there's my five. Gamonari to the hole again. Beautiful job. That was just a great game. With Blocked inside by Shea Shemmett. I missed. Got it again. Here's really something else. Outworking everybody. Shemmett again. Bingo. Bulls will spend the night here and then head up to Sacramento tomorrow. Getting into the hole nicely with a good extension. Eight in the clock. Shamit gets a good look. Bingo. Nice to know, Ralph, is when you drive it in there looking to score and you can't, that's who you get to kick it out to. Outlet to Shea. He scores. Okay. Inside to Harrell. Gets the shot blocked that time. The rim protected by Lopez. One time. Driving to the hole and scoring. See how both teams react to that. What, has, what just happened? Inside to Levine. He'll score and get fouled. It's unfortunate. But the Clippers by 11. It's allowed the Clippers to push this lead out to double figures. Lou Williams. Oh, he knocks down the three. If they can keep it going here in this quarter. Lou has a rejected. It's been a lot of years. Way back in my day. Uh, broadcasting. Talker is a player. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why I'm sitting here with you, Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> the guy can talk. Two head coaches of the Clippers and Bulls, respectively, both lost from the game late in the third quarter. Really weird. As long as you probably couldn't report it here in the middle. Oh, probably true. Lou has it. Loads it up and in. They have not been in the playoffs in a dozen years. Looks like number 13 ruins. That one will roll. Market is showing his inexperience, relocating to 22 feet instead of behind the line. Harold Wilson. No look pass. A reverse slam. Marking it again. Bingo. The second three ball is showing some life here. Gallinari, bingo! Beverly. Pass. What a good look. Now the, an even better look. And there's the result. Bingo. Good league for sure. 124, 114. Clippers by 10. 18 seconds to go. Three ball. Clippers by nine. 14 seconds to go. The Bulls final look at it. Levine will throw it down. Everybody here. I don't know about that. Here comes Gallinari, and now the Bulls are heading to the locker room. The horn sounds. The game is over. The Clippers have logged their 40th win of the year to go with 30 losses. They go to 21 and 13 here at home, and they hold their ground in this wild.